As you probably already know, a total eclipse of the Sun is coming across the United States on August 21st. If you are in its path, you will be treated to one of the most amazing sights you can see without a telescope. The Moon blocking out the Sun, making the Sun's corona visible. Both lunar and solar eclipses result from the Moon's orbit around the Earth. Sometimes it passes through the Earth's shadow, causing a lunar eclipse. Other times the Moon's shadow crosses the Earth, causing a solar eclipse. Now the reason we don't have lunar and solar eclipses every month is that the Moon's orbit is tilted. So most of the time, the Moon's shadow passes above the Earth's North Pole, or above the Earth's South Pole, such that the Moon's shadow does not cross the surface of the Earth, and the Moon does not pass through the Earth's shadow. However, every once in a while, the Moon's orbit does bring it through the Earth's shadow, or bring the Moon's shadow across the surface of the Earth. These are the times when we have eclipses. Now there are three types of solar eclipses. Partial, where the Moon passes across the Sun's disk, but never completely covers it. An angular, where because the Moon is at its furthest point in its orbit, there is a ring of the Sun around it, and a total eclipse, which is what we will be seeing on August 21st. A total solar eclipse occurs when the Moon passes between the Earth and the Sun, such that its shadow crosses over a portion of the Earth's surface. During a solar eclipse, it is not safe to look at the Sun as long as part of it is visible. It is, however, safe to look at the Sun without any protection during totality when the corona is visible. An annual eclipse of the Sun occurs when the Moon's shadow passes over the Earth's surface, but because the Moon is at the furthest point of its orbit, it cannot cover all of the Sun, leaving a ring of the Sun visible. During a annual eclipse, there is no point at which it is safe to look directly at the Sun without protection. However, you can get away with a quick glance. A partial eclipse of the Sun is what you experience when you are outside the narrow range of totality. It is what most of the inhabitants of America will experience on August 21st. At no point during a partial eclipse is it safe to look directly at the Sun. A lunar eclipse occurs when the Moon passes through the shadow of the Earth. During a total lunar eclipse, because the Earth's atmosphere bends the Sun's light around the Earth, the Moon can become a deep, almost blood red. However, there are also times when it can become so dark that you cannot see it. A lunar eclipse is also an opportunity to directly observe the fact that the Earth is round, as you see the curved shadow of the Earth move across the lunar surface. As stated before, it is not safe to look directly at the Sun without protection during an eclipse, except during the point of totality. This starts when the last light of the Sun is disappearing and ends as it reappears. During totality, the Sun's corona is visible, and this is one of the most spectacular sights that can be observed without a telescope. During a solar eclipse, it is important not to look directly at the Sun without protection, except during totality. Now, ordinary sunglasses will not do. For safe viewing of an eclipse, you can use eclipse glasses or welder's goggles that are rated 14 or higher. You can use specially designed solar telescopes and solar binoculars. You can use telescopes, cameras, and binoculars with approved solar filters. And you can use pinhole projectors. You can also use binoculars as a projector and telescopes as a projector. These last three are the easiest way to observe a solar eclipse. I will be making four more videos on the Great American Eclipse. The next one will be how to make viewing equipment for the eclipse. These will include pinhole projector, binocular projector, and a telescope projector. The second one will be testing your equipment before the eclipse. The third will be the actual observation of the eclipse. And the fourth will be observations and comments on the eclipse. This will be a follow-up video in which I discuss special observations and thoughts on this eclipse. If you are within the range of totality, you will be treated to a show you will remember for the rest of your life. If you are outside of it, you will only have a partial eclipse, but still feel free to enjoy it with safety viewing equipment, even because, because even partial solar eclipses are pretty interesting.